What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we are installing a fun new mod for my Tacoma and this is actually the first time using my Charvonia design tie downs. Remember guys, if you use our promo code, you can save on these. Definitely very sturdy to secure this load. But now, Bri, let's go ahead and get this out of the truck. With a new bumper on the ground now, this is from Tacoma Beast. I'll have all their info down in the description. This is the slimline tube style bumper, and there are so many different options that you can get with this bumper. As you can tell, if I lift it up real quick, I got the winch cut out. I've never had a winch on a truck, but I wanted to keep that just in case. You can also get a 20 inch light bar cut out. My light bar is actually up in the grill, so I decided to get that closed off. I have it open on this bumper that I currently have, and as you can tell, oops. I think I just broke it. Uh, as you can tell, I covered it up because I never used it. So there's a few different options. I got it powder coated as well. And so this bumper is actually from Tacoma Beast 2. I'll have this for sale. Message us on Instagram if you'd like that. I'll have a video down in the description below on installing this bumper if you'd like to do it. Today is really not gonna be as involved since we already have most of that work out of the way and we've even cut on the sides of the bumper there, but we are going a little bit higher now. So we're getting closer to this fog light here. And that's another reason that I wanted to go with, technically it's a full size bumper, but it's the hybrid. So it weighs a little bit less and we're still getting the same function as a full size bumper without cutting the fog lights. So I still have the factory location for the fog lights. And you can see with the tube style here, we're gonna see a lot more of that tire. With the grill off the truck, this makes it much easier to gain access to two bolts that are down on the inside there. It's really easy to remove the grill. There's a screw on both sides and then a tab on each side too. And then you can pop it out and get better access to down here. So over on the right side, you can see that silver bolt down in the corner. There's also one over on the other side. There's a total of four bolts per side. So if we go over on the driver's side now, up underneath, you can see the two upper silver ones. And then down below, there's a black bolt. You will have to remove these. If your truck is completely stock and you're doing a center bumper there, you'll have to remove those, of course, to put the bumper back on. And then over on the passenger side, we have the same setup as well. So with all those bolts removed, we have two nuts up on the top section here that's holding this bumper in place. So once we remove both of those, this entire bumper will come off. Now with this bumper here, I decided to fabricate these end pieces here. They're not compatible with this bumper. So I did have to do some more work but we did also have to cut here. If you'd like to see some more info on that, I'll link that video down below because there will be cutting involved with this new hybrid bumper. We do have to go just up underneath the fog light here. So now with uh, another hand, I think we can just lift this up and do those by hand. Oh, and the light bar came with it, but that's okay. So for the mock-up for this bumper, on the back side, you can see there are three bolt holes here. On the truck itself, these three right here, the ones that I was saying earlier, this is actually where the factory crash bar went. Again, if you wanna see how to remove all of this, I'll have that video down below because it's already out of the way for us. And we're actually utilizing this lower bolt right here. So we have this end cap here that this is actually uh, threaded into. That's gonna be our bottom bolt for this bumper. So aftermarket bumpers like this will replace that factory crash bar. So that's why I don't have it anymore from that previous bumper. And for the removal of these fender flares, you're going to have a few bolts lining the underside. You can either use a 10 millimeter or a Phillips head, just depending on the head of the bolt. There's also going to be some adhesive on the backside. And there's two tabs located right about here and here on the backside where you can remove the fender liner, get your hand back up there to pinch it so you can pull those two out. The rest of it is just attached with the adhesive. So we've made it to the crucial part in installing this bumper and that is doing the cutting. Now for me, I'm going to measure, measure, measure because I don't wanna have a huge gap between this and the top of the bumper here. So right now, this is our reference point to what we have to trim away. You can see the top portion of this tape line is where we think the cut needs to be. So following this lip right underneath the fog light, we think there's going to be roughly about a quarter inch and that's gonna give us enough for the uh, edge guard to go onto. So we have that line going all the way with the fender flare removed. We're just about three quarters up on this tab here. So like I said, the top of this tape line is where we think we're going to cut. I wanna give myself some breathing room. I'm going to cut the bottom of this line for right now, just to get this chunk out of the way because I wanna to try to mock this up as many times as I need to get to that proper line. If we go too high, 
like I said, you can't put it back. So we're gonna have a gap between the bumper and the uh, rest of the bumper here. So we're gonna do that on both sides. We have it mocked up and ready to go. So on to round two now. What we did is we went from this line right here and measured one inch down. So that's the black line that you see going all the way across. Now we don't really have much of a reference point past that because the bodywork obviously curves, but we try to keep it right in line, running right through the tape. We're gonna do this on both sides. This will be round two. I don't think we're cutting too much just yet. So this will be a good another mock-up. So we've done a few more mock-ups and half inch by half inch, we are finally at the final measurements. We're gonna go over all those specs, so hopefully the beginning portion of this video wasn't too confusing for you, but we'd rather be safe than sorry. So here are all the final measurements when you are installing this exact bumper. So if you're starting this from scratch where you do have your center of your bumper still here, this lip you're gonna want is gonna be one inch. So from the plastic mesh piece to the edge, you're gonna basically cut one inch out. So this is an inch the whole way all the way down to this body line right here. And then we found that we actually cut on this body line. So the same edge that runs around the fog light, that's the line under here that we are cutting directly on and then just blend it into this one inch right here. So from there, the best way to measure it now, if you find the center point of this crease right here, the body line that goes around and down, right in the center, going straight down, we are at seven and a half inches. So along this line right here, pretty much, we're gonna be seven and a half inches down there. So you want this to be about that mark. And then if we look at this corner up here with the body line and measure it to where this body line is at a diagonal angle, this is gonna be just about 11 inches. So from that corner, tape measure, we're at 11 inches to the body line where we cut. And then if we keep going over this body line right here, which is the edge of your fender flare, measuring this one straight down, we are just over five inches. And we'll write this all in the description so you can know. So with this kit, we also get this edge guard. So you can use this to line the entire cut. If you have some indentations here or there, this is going to hide it and give it a cleaner look. Now keep in mind, we have the fender flares on both sides. So you don't actually have to go all the way to the very edge because the fender flare will cover that, of course. I'm gonna give it maybe about a half inch here just to have some overlap. This is the last time we are putting the bumper back on. We still have a lot of work to do with the fender liners and the fender flares, but this is pretty much the hard work out of the way. We've been working on the driver's side fender liner right now, and here's a look at the passenger one. So of course, hopefully the lighting can see that. We have all of this plastic, right there in the way. And the goal with this hybrid bumper is to see all the tires, see the entire suspension. So that is what it used to look like. And with the driver's side now complete, take a look at that. You can see the entire lower control arm as well as the suspension. And I did not cut the entire fender liner. You can see right here, I've kept a good portion of it right to the top there. And what I did is I took a zip tie, poked a hole in one side of it. And then down below on this far corner, I just utilized that hole right there did another zip tie and cut that right off. So you can see it does have a little bit of an edge to it, but you're really not going to see that unless you're down at this angle here. So I'm okay with that. I didn't want to cut any higher just to give it a little more protection. And I think at some point we're gonna use some kind of splash guard and just help protect the fog lights, all these wires and everything, and just have another portion right there. So it's in line with the bumper there and out of sight. So this project is coming together really nicely. I love the sleek looking design for this bumper, but we're gonna set you guys up now on the time lapse. We'll finish the passenger side as well as work on the fender flare.
So there we have it, the installation for the new bumper for my Tacoma. This was a pretty fun project and hopefully you were able to get the measurements if you're installing this exact bumper. Again, just go off of what we showed you and it really wasn't all that bad. Now I do love the style of this hybrid bumper. It's not a full size bumper, so it doesn't carry that extra weight, but it gives us all this added clearance. Look at how much more space we got. You can see, as I mentioned earlier, all the suspension components and everything. And then in the front, like I mentioned earlier, you can get a few different options. I like this clean look here. I might put my Bros for Speed tag back on the front, maybe just to hide this winch hole here or just have it running across the front. But I like it without the bull bar. I had the bull bar on my other bumper. So it definitely gives it more of a flush design and uh, I'm really digging it. What do you guys think? Well, once again, check out Tacoma Beast. I'll have all their info down in the description. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a huge thumbs up. If you wanna see our daily uploads, consider subscribing so you don't miss out. We'll see you guys in the next video.